Hey everybody, how you doing? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to go over saving a document and how to do it properly and going over a little bit of stuff about that. That way um, we're all on the same page and nothing gets corrupted or anything like that. So it uh, may seem easy, so this tutorial might be pretty short, so we'll see. And uh, let's get on with it. So I've just got this... Um, I've just got this uh, set of layers here which is a wooden background picture and text on top of it and I just want to save that. So I'm going to come up here to file and the first thing I'm going to go to is save as and I'm going to navigate to where I want to save my stuff and I should probably make a new folder called Photoshop if I can spell Photoshop documents or something like that you want to make sure that all your stuff is organized and I'll just save this as get some now I just type in my file name now you can change the different types of format that you have here now Photoshop gives you tons of formats that you can use we've got P Photoshop uh, document which will open up this entire document inside of Photoshop so you can work on it work on it again and that is a PSD We've got large document format, which is a PSB, which is pretty much do the same thing. Then we've got all these other kinds, and I encourage you to just take do a Google search on different image formats so you can um, become more familiar with uh, these different um, formats. Now I'm te I'm just going to teach uh, Photoshop in these tutorials, uh, so I'm not going to really go over too much in the uh, go over too much about the different image formats because honestly you might not even use all of them the main ones that you do probably use though are the uh, JPEG right here um, the PNG and I use Targa's when I'm using uh, video and then there's TIFF here and uh, TIFF is uh, pretty useful with Photoshop layers it, ha it contains layers within the actual um, file format which is pretty nice so that we've got all those. I'm going to save this as a Photoshop uh, document, so a PSD, and so I can work on it later. Now we have uh, a few other options down here. So I'll go over these now. As a copy, if I check that, it saves a copy of the file while keeping the uh, current file on your desktop. The alpha channels uh, saves or removes alpha channels from the image. Uh, layers maintains all your layers, so all the stuff over here on the right. And um, pretty much, uh, if it's if it's unchecked or you can't click click it, then uh, that means either all your layers are flanned or you just have one layer or something like that. So that's that. Um, if you have notes uh, created within your Photoshop document, um, you can click on the notes to save the notes with them and uh, the spot colors it saves or removes the spot channel information for the image and I'll have to go over that later with you guys um, I've noticed that um, when I'm going over these different uh, basic panels that we need to use they have a lot of advanced uh, um, check boxes or drop down menus and stuff like that so um, just uh, bear with as we uh, go through and just keep keep um, the pretty much the important information like basically we're just going over how to save so keep the important information in the back of your head or in the front and then and then the back of your brain keep like not as important information yet in like the back of your head so just a, a little uh, advice there I guess on how to like use these uh, tutorials a little properly so um We've got our color profile down here, and I haven't gone over these yet. Um, I, when I was making my After Effects tutorials, I almost ended with these ones, uh, color profiles. They're pretty, um, they're kind of advanced, so we'll be getting into those later in the tutorials, like way later probably. So then um, down here we've got an option to save a thumbnail, which is um, checked, and I can't uncheck it. Um, so that's, um, you can set up 
a preference where you're able to uncheck or check this and I'll have to show you guys that later on and uh, use lowercase extension just makes the uh, file extension lowercase so dot PSD won't be in capital letters it'll be in lowercase letters I mean I'm not why that's such a huge deal but well, maybe some people um, really care about that who knows so then when we have when you have all your stuff checked um, just click save and then uh, Photoshop will go ahead and save this for you and we've got the maximize compatibility that uh, shows up here this shows up when you uh, save as a PSD or PSB and uh, this allows you to use this um, with maximum compatibility in other programs such as maybe you want to bring it into illustrate Adobe Illustrator or Adobe After Effects or something like that it's going to maximize the compatibility with those programs so that's really nice and you pretty much always want to have that checked you can check uh, do, don't show again that's uh, how often you want to have maximized compatibility checked so just hit OK and uh, there you're properly saved now so that's how you properly save took uh, six minutes to explain it but that's fine so I will uh, see you guys in the next tutorial where um, looks like we can start getting a little bit more we're gonna start we're gonna keep going into the uh, different panels and stuff like that and how to use Photoshop a little better but soon enough we'll be getting into actually working with photos and images and design and everything just gotta know the basics first and how to use the interface so thanks for watching see you guys later